everybody, it's DJ B, and I've been tripping over these two large boxes for about three weeks now, so I thought it would be time to open them. I don't know what I was waiting for. I think I was waiting for other stuff to show up, and it never did, so I honestly don't even remember what I ordered here, but we're gonna open them up and see what happens. <laughs> honestly, I can't tell you what was in here. I don't remember. She took a long time to send this to me, that's all I do remember, so I think that's why I don't remember what's in them. Oh yeah! Now I remember what I ordered. What could it be? She was a Just About Horses special edition and her name is Party Girl. This is one of the nicest buckskins I think Briar has done. I love this mold and in this color she is so pretty. Funny enough, I actually own one of these already so this is my second Party Girl. But the one I purchased was a performance horse and she has a really awful scratch kind of on her abdomen and it has always bothered me so when this girl came up for sale she was a good price. She was in Canada, I thought might as well get a second and I can replace the one that I already have. I've always loved this model, but I haven't loved the version that I have just because she is slightly flawed. Oh yeah! <laughs> this horse was actually really difficult to find and I don't know why. Oh, and she's cool, what? So this is another strapless, uh, Briarfest 2020, so last year. Her name is Epona. And there was variations of this girl with braided hair and braided tail or loose hair and loose tail. Honestly, now that I have the loose one, I'm okay with that. I originally did want the braided one, so I am all about that. This was the only special run I wanted from Tony Tony Briarfest. This is the 70th anniversary uh, Smarty Jones, and I believe this was the chase piece. So they released like X amount of models and then this guy was actually the chase which means he was the hardest to find but he now has like come out as being quite easy to track down i might touch his eyes <laughs> that's the only thing i don't like about him but i think the color is actually really fun okay now moving on to box number two i think i have a vague idea of what this is but my memory can be mistaken and classic newsprint I bought this horse? I was straight up going to purchase this horse twice, so that would have been a mistake. Um, also, really fabulous wrap job, friends. This is an Atticus, uh, just a body though, as you can see. This is Total Ass. Once again, another body. I've really wanted a Total Ass, Totillas, Totillas, Total Ass head to remove. I wanted to take this Eidicus body and I wanted to attach this Total S head. This horse I genuinely don't remember purchasing so it's a good thing I opened this because I probably would have bought it. No idea how to say the name of it but it's Aurelis. Ar it's on the Destato mold and it's in a glossy chestnut and this is just a really nice chestnut. I am not a glossy model person and I have been purchasing a few glossy models <laughs> only because they do like a really stellar paint job on some of them. Like I'm not a huge fan of the glass but I like that he is glossed and I think that makes his color pop that much more. Like he's pretty quite striking like really and I can't appreciate a good chestnut now. Um, after buying Drifter, <laughs> I'm more inclined to enjoy Chestnut than I was previously. All in all, I would say that's a pretty good haul and a pretty good thing that I opened it because I probably almost bought this horse a second time. Thank you so much for watching and this has been updating my collection, so happy collecting!